According to the statistics, in 2017, I mean last year, 20% of all Malaysian fresh graduates were unemployed, jobless. This is a pretty large figure, but not to worry because globally this figure is 36. So Malaysia isn't doing so bad, right? But what worries more is that in this year, it is expected that more people are going to be jobless, especially the fresh graduates. I mean you. Because this figure is going to rise from 20% to 21%. And I believe that everyone now is now worried about your future, and probably not. But some of you probably are going to be worried about the future of the next generations. Just before that, um, let us just thank statistics for providing us with these figures, otherwise we're going to be ignoring enough of what the reality is, what is happening when it comes to unemployment issue in Malaysia. So a way to say thank you is probably to understand what statistics is easily. So statistics is just a collection of tools to firstly describe, secondly to generalize, and thirdly to predict. So describe, statistics is to describe whatever raw information or data that you have in order to understand about what you are interested in. Secondly, statistics is to generalize. Statistics is to generalize whatever you are interested in on a larger population of individuals or objects using just a portion of them. And statistics is to predict on whatever is going to happen in the future using whatever data that you have in, your, in hands. So, we see that these statistics may have brought a lot of benefits in many ways in our life, in understanding about the world and its content. Probably some of you might be curious about how do I come up with these figures? Where are the resources? I didn't state any. So, probably these figures I've acquired from other resources, other sources, or probably I did my own research, and if I did, how's the procedure? Is it reliable enough? Can we rely on my procedure? So now, if I didn't conduct any research, and I simply write it on the screen and probably all of you believe still. So this is the issue of what we are going to do when we see any statistical figures. Do we simply believe, blindly believe, without any clarification or validation on how true it is? Can we simply believe it or not? So the first step when we encounter any statistical figures is surely to clarify whether it is true or simply there are lies. So how do we clarify is surely through the validation of these figures on how they've been computed. And the way is to master or understand statistics, at least the foundation level. So throughout my six years of conducting tuition classes for statistics, then I've come up with three simple steps to master the foundation of statistics. One is to understand the concepts and terminologies of statistics, linguistically and technically. So, for instance, when we're learning something like variance, linguistically, what is the meaning of variance itself? What is the root word of variance? Everybody? What is the variance? Uh, what is the root word of variance? It comes from the word vary. It means difference. So how can it be related to the technical definition of variance itself? So then second is to use the right data when computing any 
statistical figures. And the third is to interpret any statistical figures that we've come up with correctly. Well, probably not many of you are interested in statistics. Surely not as a profession, but believe me, statistics can help you to understand the world better and surely it's going to help you in making a better decision in your life. That's all, thank you.